All right, update time. I'm back to filming on my shit mobile phone, but meh. I'm afraid I can't help that. Um, we're getting there. This is it so far. The bed's being modeled by my lovely assistant there. That's Zach. Say hi, Zach. <laughs> okay, so, slight change from what we had before. Um, we, 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 when we did this, we had the, these were too long. And I was going to trim them, and then I decided not to bother, because I actually quite like that. So, what have we got? We, we've actually changed things around from what I said last time. Um, I was originally going to have a cupboard there, and the fridge there, and the oven there, next to the batteries, which produce gas, which is explosive. So, um, not much has really changed in there. It's still pretty much as it was. But, uh... That's still covered. That eventually will be where the fridge goes, because the fridge is a non-explosive item. Um, there is a dropout vent next to the batteries. You can't really see it, but it's down there. And I'm going to get some of that little plastic tubing just to come out the vents and stick it down at the floor. Um, under here is uh, where all my tools and shit are. It's just general meh. Um, got the oven in. Got the hob in. It all works. Um, it's uh, half past one in the morning right now, so I'm not actually going to go outside and show you how the gas is connected. But I've got an Alu gas bottle, which is a refillable LPG bottle, which is um, in the trunk. That's the sink. It's I've, I needed a funnel, so I cut the end off something. That's lunch. Um, this was a bargain. Uh, it, it's just a, it's a it's a faucet from a regular one of those uh, what's well, just from a regular kitchen tap. It was in somebody's at house. I managed to pick it up on Facebook and it folds out the way nice and neat, which is lush. Although um, the pump isn't on at the moment, but <laughs> uh, it's a, it's an easy knock thing. So I'm a bit jewy to put it there in case it gets knocked. So <laughs> there we go. Um, power strip in. Um, we have Wi-Fi. Um, oh, yeah, we do actually have Wi-Fi. We we um because we've got a hookup to the main building, and the main building has internet. We've got one of these power lines in, so we can have Wi-Fi down here, and that is a little TP-Link router, uh, which is absolutely marvelous, brilliant little thing. Runs off USB, so when we go when we're actually out and about, uh, it will be lush. Um, uh, we'll be able to use it on the road. That's the camera I brought down several hundred pounds worth of kit and the battery died in four minutes so now i'm using my old trusty mobile phone we've got a telly in tv oil comes in up there uh we've got one of those dish things on the front it comes down there goes down there goes down through this pipe thing here and then comes out the bottom down there um walls shit yes all the walls have been rebuilt so um you saw it last time it was a ghastly mess uh excuse these these are uh these are actually I made these myself. Um, they are foil reflectic stuff. Um, I've got some somewhere over there in that back corner. You see it? It's that stuff sewn into double sided material, which I've then just temporarily stuck up here. But my god, does that make a difference? It keeps the heat in nicely. Um, it's uh, 15 degrees. That's also a new addition. Yay, diesel heater. We're warm. So, anyway. This is the sofa. I kept that where it was, moved it over a little bit. The sofa is now there. Um, underneath the sofa, I don't know if you're going to see it or not. Maybe. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Let me just get some light on the situation. Underneath there. Uh, let's move the flammable materials away. There's the diesel heater. Nestling happily under the floor there. Um, that wire that's down there is actually an old earth strap. It's not actually connected to anything. So I've just, it's just, I've just left it there. Um, and uh, that wasn't supposed to be there. That was actually uh, up there. And that's fallen down. <laughs> well, uh, if nothing, that really, really does prove that Chinese diesel here is a safe. <laughs> and, uh, it does work. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to do it again. Now another twice. It'd be very annoying. Are you done? 
Beep. There we go. That's it. It's finished now. Okay, so where are we at now? That's the bed. That is a double. It snuggles in nicely down there. Where that other piece of thingamajiggy is, which is only temporary. That is where the emergency exit is. The bathroom, I've just stuck some carpet down here temporarily. The bathroom is there. And that exits out the side window down there. And then there's enough space if we want to for a shower there. We've got new blinds in. Um, we haven't finished that bathroom wall yet, but hey. Ours is not the reason why. Ours is but to do or die. So this is this material. It's lovely stuff. It was a hundred, uh, we paid 190 quid for two rolls of it, which is five meters long. No, 10 meters long and two meters tall, which meant we got to do all that side. Right the way across to the back wall, right at the back there. And then we got to do from there all the way across to here. It goes all the way across the floor. Hides all the imperfections. And all the ceiling. The last time you saw this, this was all bare wood. Um, it's not anymore. It's um, It's been transformalized. Uh, we've still got those bits to sort out. And that's a handy resting place for my saw. Um, again, I need to do all that in there. This is what we call the woodshed because it's where all the spare woods kept. Um, so yeah, we've got funky new blinds here. These are all silver-sided, so uh, they're nice. Um, got one over the, the kitchen there as well. What else is there to show you, really? Um, we put a diesel tank there. I'm going to drop it down a bit so that it's hiding underneath, well, in level with this uh, set of drawers here, so you can't see it. But it is very useful for knowing what your levels are, and the fuel tank on this bus is down here, so that means we can pull up, and I can fill the fuel tank, and I can fill this up at the same time. Although I haven't really bothered yet. Um, I've had it running for several days. When I say several days, I mean about 200 hours. And I think I've gone through four tanks of diesel in that time. It uses hardly any anything up at all. It's cost me about 20 quid to keep the whole thing running. Um, what else have we done? We've got... I'll put these curtains, these, this light on. We put curtains all the way around. These are on a rail. It runs along the top, just for a better privacy. These are blackout, all shiny, all dancing, like, heat-proof things. I had to cut them all to size. Um, the hemming at the top is ridiculous. And then we got these uh, for the door. Um, the door is there. You see it? All the way down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I need to sort that out. Um, but they they do an adequate job of keeping the heat in. Um, and it's uh, 16 degrees. Come on, you bugger! Focus. No, that's not going to work, is it? Focus. Focus. Well, no. It says it's 16 degrees at the moment. Um, Oh, there we go, look at that! I don't know why my machine flickers like that, but, meh, yeah, there we go. Um, so that's, that's essentially it, really. A nice splash back along there. Um, this edging stuff, I'm going to put along here. Um, I spent time on boats, and uh, I, I, <laughs> I do appreciate having a small lip on anything that rocks backwards and forwards or moves um, it just keeps things in place you know there will be a time where you'll drive off and forget to move something and usually the one time you remember that it's half that you've done it is when you hear a smash from the back um, and that's never good so this used to be oh goodness so this is such a horrible light this used to be a big locker um, that's all gone now. Um, that there is the battery level indicator, so I don't have to climb underneath the seat to see what it is. Those are two wires for the fan, and then there's another fan hiding around there. The emergency door now works. There's a button on the outside so you can open it, um, and that button there turns out you can use to close it. Huh, who'd have thought? Um, no, you don't use that one to open it. That one opens it, and there's one down there, which you use to close it. Um, all of this has all been finished, all the way back to there. 
and all of this has now been finished so that's really good really really pleased with how that came out it looks brilliant and we kept this this strip down the middle I've got to do something with these I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with those bits yet that's where the chap who had it before us had fitted some round lights and he just cut holes and left them um, I need to sort that out but I wanted to keep this blue it's the original coach work blue and I like it it's a nice it keeps a nice so what's the word I'm looking for it's a it's a I don't know a, uh, yeah words fail me these lights used to be fluorescent they're no longer fluorescent now they have uh, a large LED panel you can't I don't know if you can see it wonderful yeah you can just about make it out <laughs> the cameras thing is all the way down there is an LED the cob in there um, which is actually capable of something like I think a hundred watts I've got these set to four watts using that little red light in the background there that is a it's a buck converter that converts 12 volts down to about nine and a half ten volts which is adequate to run these all of the lights in here all on you use about a quarter of an amp something like that these things are running into the milliamps which is friggin brilliant you can leave the lights on in this for a month and they'll still they won't run the batteries down um, there's secondary lighting we've got these ice these blue ones uh, if I switch it all over, so off, 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 and then those. Oh, you can't see a damn thing, but there's secondary lighting in there, which is a lovely pale blue colour, and you can't see a damn thing because this phone is old and crap. Uh, uh, the switch panel down here, oh, where's my torch? <clears throat> switch panel down here is what controls all the lights. I wanted to keep the original switch panel, so I did. It's a bit of a bit inconvenience getting in and out, but these ones are actually going to be on remote control soon, so you better just flick them on when you come in. Um, but all the lights are controlled from that switch panel that runs all the way back through to the uh, the batteries in the back there. They're isolated from the main vehicle battery now, which is nice. Um, so and all that switch panel there. This one here, interestingly, um, the one with the uh, the lightning bolt on it. That is actually the battery isolator. And that isolates the the main battery from the bus. Now, it's a ginormous, huge solenoid. And I was thinking about getting a split charge relay on this. and wasn't entirely sure how I was going to go around it. And then I realised that there's one right there. All I have to do is connect the, 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 normal, car, the normal bus battery like a normal bus would be. Because there's nothing running anymore. The tackle's been disconnected. Ah, well, the clock. And um, and I just thought, well, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll use that as this as the uh, as the uh, the split charge. So essentially, what will happen is I'll start the bus up, get it running. I'll hit that switch, and it will connect the main battery to the uh, to the leisure batteries, um, to save time and effort because all of this switch paneling was all running through the chassis as a negative earth. I also connected my leisure batteries to the negative earth. So that means that all I have to do is connect the two batteries together and I've got a split charge because it will use the earth return as, a, as, the, um, as the negative feed. So um, yeah, it will just use the chassis as the, uh, as the ground. Not the ground, don't use ground, as the negative. Um, so I've got myself a cheap free split charge, which is um, kind of cool. Not wiring it up yet, but we'll get there. So yeah, uh, the dark abyss over there. It's a lot brighter in real life. This torch is, this, this phone is utter shit. Uh, oh, another thing. Right, I'm gonna show you something. This is a quick tip. It's gonna be a long video, but I don't care. If you are going to use any kind of, like this stuff, you know, the, the, the carpeting, and you're gonna stick it on the wall, you may be tempted to go out and buy yourself a bunch of this stuff. Don't. It is utter shit. And I speak, I talk, I, this is from experience. Trust me, I've put a lot of things on a lot of vehicles and I've stuck a lot of panels together. My old LDV was put together with this stuff and all the carpeting fell off after a year. It's not temperature sensitive. It gets damp, it falls off. It's shite. This stuff is the dog's bollocks. And I really do mean the dog's bollocks. It is high temp. It is ultra sticky 
and it is friggin fantastic i'm going to see if i can get that to focus there we go tna upholstery supplies that's where i got it from it's the dogs it's the mutts nuts buy it for your van anything you've got to stick with anything if it's a material that is actually in uh, some other things as well buy this stuff you'll never get the carpet off again and i mean that never ever 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 shit good stuff shit good shit good shit good do you get the idea buy that i bought boxes of the stuff and I, <laughs> and I really do mean boxes i think i've got something like 12 cans of it left over um brilliant stuff absolutely fan bloody tastic right uh, i think that just about covers it for me you're gonna say bye bye zach say bye bye say bye bye <laughs> <All right. laughs> you hungry? Are you hungry, Zaki? Huh? Are you a hungry dog? Are you? Do you want to go to bed? <laughs> Do you want to go out? All right, all right. Sit. That's not sitting. Sit. Oi, come on here. Right, sit. 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 Set. Give me five. It's licking. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Yeah, good boy. <laughs>